Hi guys, my name is Star and welcome back to another video. Today is an exciting day. We are starting a collection of mine. I've had these cards for a while. There's a lot of them. We'll talk about why there's so many for a starting collection um, in a second, but I've had these cards for a while and I'm very excited to set them up and put them away in my binder. Today, we will be starting my Ace collection. I will be collecting Byungkwan for Ace. I'm super excited about this. I really, really love Byungkwan. I used to collect him, but he is one of the idols that I like got rid of like when I did my whole like downsizing thing years ago when I thought I was gonna never collect K-pop again. He's one of the idols that I stopped collecting, I got rid of back then. And here we are now. Currently, all of Ace is enlisted in the military. Byungkwan gets out of the military. Oh my gosh, I looked it up last night. October 10th, I think it is. I think it's 10-10-2023. I'm kind of hoping that maybe I'll be able to finish his collection before he comes back from the military or get really close to it. I have a friend on Instagram that once I mentioned that I would be collecting Ace again, she actually does goes for Ace and she reached out and was like, well, I have a whole bunch of Ace cards and if you're interested in collecting Ace again, like, I will sell them to you and she did, like... There's so much here, guys. Really, really exciting. It really definitely helped kickstart this collection for me. I'm just really, really grateful and really thankful to her. I'll leave her Instagram handle at the bottom of this video if you guys want to go check her out because she's really cool and she's really nice. Yeah, I adore her. Let's get into the photo cards now. So I actually have one of each of his Wonderland cards. I do plan on collecting all of these just very slowly. If you know anything about collecting Ace, a lot of Ace's older stuff is very, very hard to get just because they're, it's so limited to those who bought it at the time. And specifically, the Wonderland album has a lot of photo cards. So each member has 18 cards, I believe it is. I believe is the math. And you got two cards per version of the album. But I do have two of them to start off for Pyong Kwan. I have these two. I have both of him with his pink hair, which is really adorable. I really specifically love this one with his little flower ring and all this. It's so cute. And his little hairpins. I love that card so, so much. Then this is Undercover. I don't have anything for Undercover yet. Hold on. I need a template because I'm still relearning these. Also, I recently got an iPad, so it will make filming these videos so much easier sometimes when I like need to look up my wish list. So I'm very excited about that. Here is Ace. Here is Byungkwan stuff. Okay. Yeah. So this one's undercover. This is Mad Squad, which I don't have anything for Mad Squad either. And then we move into the butterfly. For this version of the this album, I do have three of his cards. We are gonna put these here. And hold on, I gotta look at it and make sure I remember correctly. So this one is going to go down here. They are here. So that's where these will go. And then I will put like, oh, this other blue card will go here. And then I will have these three cards up here at the top. And then the matching like remaining like cards, these two specifically will go on either side of this one down here. That will be that page. And then we have Siren's Dawn, which I also don't have anything for. No, that's not true. I do have two things for Siren's Dawn. Siren Dawn. I literally set this up last night. You would think I would have it memorized, but I don't. Also, it just takes me a while to get used to my binder setups once I change them. So I have both of his lint that will go on the back page for Siren Dawn. And then on this first page for Siren Dawn, I am going to put these three of the white selfies will go here. And then these three selfies will go here and I'll have the black both of the ones where he's in like the black outfit here and the one where he's in the red outfit there is my plan. And then this side will have all of the double sided cards except for the unit one. So the other three will go here. So I think my plan was to put the two white ones here and then the two gray ones here. And then I put the lenties here. I don't know how much I love this. I might change this. But for now, that is the thought process and the plan. And then for Dear Ellerus, we have everything but the jacket polas. I have all three of his selfie cards for this. The green ones, like the one where you can see the green background on the outsides. And this one in the middle. And then his two jacket polos will go here. The other jacket polo will go there. And then his first press polo will go here. And then it will be a little set up like that. So that's what that looks like at the moment. 
And then here I have one card for this page already. So I'm just going to pull this one out, slide this in. This will be one of my first divider pages for Ace, just like I kind of do in my Eyes One Binder and my Twice Binder. I also plan on having a like a starter page here, like a starter, like OT5 set, but I haven't decided which one it will be yet. So I didn't put it there because I already have a whole, I didn't talk about this, but I do plan on getting his call-in stuff, his regular PC for calling and his make star and possibly both of the groups for call-in. I love Colin. It actually is it's not my top. It's not my number one title track from Ace, but it is my third. Like it's my it's in my top three. So I really do want these cards. Like I've already given up on getting a Colin album, but at least the photo cards I want, especially this specific quantity, like this one, I want the most. I do plan on getting those and I didn't want to put like another like empty page right here at the beginning because I do have kind of a lot of empty pages for him right now. And it does bother me a lot but I would like to keep it to a minimum, if you know what I mean. That's it for the albums. This is the OT5 set I wanna do for here. And I specifically have an extra Dong Hun to put here. So this is here. I want like this kind of concept. I want them all to kind of match from Dear, Dear Elris. So it'll be an OT5 set there. And then this is where I'll be putting all of my Kwani like non-album things that I get. So like I mentioned, my friend that I got these from, she hosts a lot of goes and she had a lot of extra Byungkwan like pobs. I bought them. <laughs> I bought basically all of them plus some of the merch items that she had, like merch pieces that she had that I thought were really cute of his. And then I also bought their DVD off of her which came with their all of the members photo card sets so i'm going to put kwani in his like own like non-album section and then i'm going to put the sets for the other member here so we're going to do byungkwan's first so this is one of his make star pops from butterfly fantasy ironically i used to own this card but you know we live and we learn and then this one is a pop as well don't know where this one's from, but this one's from Siren's Dawn. And then the rest of the pops that I have for him right now are from Dear Elleris and I believe, or Changer, and I believe these are all of his pops from Changer. She like had all of them left. And they're, these are in no particular order. Like I just kind of, I do try to keep them in somewhat like chronological order, at least in terms of like release and the associated release. But other than that, I just kind of put my non-album stuff together. I put these here to try to help, like to see if I like that for the videos. Cause I knew I was filming this video as my next video. So I wanted to see if I wanted to keep that, like doing the green things, but I think it's annoying. I think I'm just going to keep doing what I do. Just like putting nothing in my binders. I'm just going to slide all these in that need to go on the back and then I'll flip over to the front. So that is what my, what it looks like currently. Also, I'm super happy about having these unit cards for Byungkwan. Also, I might switch these two. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So that way these two hollows ones that I have for him are together and then the two pink ones that I have for him are here and then all the unit ones are together. I really am happy about having all these unit cards and that she was able to sell them to me. I think these are so cute. And it's a nice way to have, like, I say this a lot of times, I really like like two member units because it's a nice way to have like multiple members, like collect multiple members without collecting multiple members. And I don't know, these are really cute. I especially really like the WoW and the Dong Hoon unit. Like these two in particular are really, really cute to me. And then we'll put in some more of his non-album stuff that I have. I'm so excited about collecting Ace again, guys. So I actually saw Ace in 2019, like right before the pandemic. It is technically my mom's first K-pop concert too, because I dragged her to it with me because I didn't want to go by myself. But yeah, so I dragged her to this Ace concert with me and we did like the high touch together. And I just, I was so enamored. I had an amazing time at the Ace show. Of the K-pop concerts I've gone to, Monster X is my like my top favorite. That one was my favorite concert that I've like one of my favorite concerts that I've ever been to in general, just in general. And then Ace would be my second favorite concert that I've been to. I just Ace are amazing performers and they care so much about their fans. Beyond Con is adorable live. Originally an Ace 
WoW was my bias wrecker, but after the concert, Dunghoon became my bias wrecker. Man came for my throat during that concert. It's actually kind of funny because like me and my friends were like watching some of the videos that I took from the concert and you can actually tell like once I start getting like when Dunghoon starts like bias wrecking me during the concert because I like start filming him like more often than I did at the start of the concert and it's kind of funny and like to like in my personal opinion it's pretty funny. So here I have like an official like double spread for Byung Kwan already. On this page these three cards specifically are my favorite like look at him with his little glasses and then the cheat card one is just so so cute all his dvd cards are gonna be the on the back um because like i said i decided to take them out of the sets with the full members so that way they can be on just one page by themselves i'm pretty sure it's in the right order to like how i wanted them so yeah because i wanted young kwan with his duck in the middle this is my favorite young kwan card i own at the moment i love this one so so much and there we have it that is my little Byungkwan non-album section. It's actually now my biggest non-album section for this. Like, this is so great. Oh my god, look at him. I miss him so much. I've been watching so much H content lately. I miss them. Crime that we have to wait until 2024 to get anything from them again. But, okay, so their DVD photo cards are going to go over here, like I am said. I'm going to do them in age order this way. Also, I must have forgot to finish, like, putting in, like, the green sleeves at some point last night. But we're not going to focus on that. And I'm just gonna put them in here, age order, and age order minus um, Byungkwan, obviously. So cute. From this set, I really like both of June's cards, and I also like this Dong Hoon a lot too. They're so cute. Sets that go on the back, which I will hold on. The sets that go on the back are actually my favorite, so maybe I'll switch these so those are on the front, and the rest are on the back. They're all great cards. They're all cute. I love that um, I was able to get it with the full photo card set, like that she still had like DVDs available with like the full member set. It was very exciting for me. So there we have it. I also really like this wow card with the little giraffe and this Chan is adorable. Again, June. The jumper set and the pajama set are definitely my favorites from these, but for Byungkwan specifically, this card is my favorite. And then this will be another OT5 set. I haven't decided which one I want to go here yet either, so it's just kind of blank. And this was where I'll put all my group and unit cards that I have for Ace, just like I do with Twice. So these are the ones I have at the moment. So we'll just slide them in and order. So this is my favorite of the group cards I have right now. It's so cute, so precious. I kind of want an extra one of these so I can put it in like a cute top loader and put it on my um, bookshelf with my Ace albums once I get it set up. I haven't done that yet, but it is something I am definitely considering. But yeah, so their group cards will go here. This is what I'm going to call the secret page. This is going to be my secret Dong Hun page because I love him and I want to collect him, but collecting Ace is kind of hard. So I definitely just want to focus on Byung Kwan first. I just want to focus on Byung Kwan at least for like the next, like the upcoming year because I don't want to like over, like overdo myself and then like not want to work on my Ace collection. So I'm going to just collect one member for now. But I would like, Dong Hoon is the member that I would like to pick up the most in the future. And she did have some of his cards, so I did buy some off of her. So I'm just going to keep them back here as a little, my little secret page. I got this idea of like the secret page from another YouTuber. Um, her name is Shy, and her channel name is Just Shy. Yeah, she does this for her AT's collection. She has like a secret page for like some of the members she doesn't collect like as thoroughly as other members. So that way she can like just you know have and keep some of their cards. So I stole this ideal from her. But yeah, there's my little secret Dong Hoon page. I really really like this card and this one. Like this outfit on him is so good. Like these two specific cards. So good love them so much should we do like a little flip through this video is not super long because i always prep my binders before i film but should we do like a little flip through at the moment of like what it, everything looks like i think we should so it's not super crazy but it is a starting point so obviously for colin we don't have a lot we don't have anything also i know i made a separate group page but i said if i get the colin group cards i would put them here one because i don't want to have just two cards on a page and two because they deserve to be near the front if I manage to get them, okay? They don't deserve to be tucked away on a group page. And then we do have two cards for Adventures in Wonderland. And then we have nothing for Undercover or Savage yet, but these are their spreads. We do have something for Butterfly. 
which we have these three cards for that. Then we have the two lenticulars from Siren's Dawn, but nothing else, none of his like selfie or double-sided cards, nothing like that. And then for Dear Elleris, we have his three selfie cards and his first print polo. My OT5 um, set, we just have the one Dong Hoon. And then the bulk of what this was, was my Pyong Kwan non-album stuff. So good, oh my god. This is so exciting. I know I'm not supposed to be collecting on album. This was part of my like splurge last month to treat myself. This is what I'm officially calling like my birthday present to myself was just buying all these ace cards. Definitely feels nice to have them in the binder now. And I'm filming this exactly like a day before my birthday. So by the time this video actually gets posted, because I think I'm going to post it on Tuesday, it, my birthday will have passed. My birthday is um, December 11th. So it is Sunday of the week I'm filming and today is Saturday. So yeah. A little early birthday present to myself. God. These like the this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All of them. All of them are perfection. I love them so much. Also, this one has such fun coloring colors. Like I love the coloring on this card. Okay, flipping, flipping, flipping. So the rest of my Bianco and non album things. And then my oh, I forgot it. And then the rest of the DVD cards for OT5. And then whatever I decide to be my next, my other um, OT5 set will go here, which I think I kind of want it uh, undercover set, but I know those hard cards are a little bit harder to find now. I think the album is technically out of print now, so I don't know if I'm going to commit to that, but it, that's what I'm thinking. And then here are the group cards that I have at the moment. And then the secret Dong Hoon page is here. And yeah, that is all for this video. It is definitely shorter than I feel like most of my videos are, but I just definitely wanted to make this its own like separate video just cause I had so many cards to start my Ace collection. And I don't know, this is kind of something I want to do. As I mentioned in my past video, and I'll talk about more in an upcoming video where I tell where I'm gonna discuss my 2023 collecting plans like more in detail. I will be collecting some groups that I don't currently collect and I think something that I want to do for those groups is like collect like five to ten cards maybe a few more I haven't decided like I haven't worked out the details to that yet and do like in a for formal video like this to like introduce that collection to my page just because I think it'd be fun and I think it'd be like a nice commemoration for me and my channel I think it would be a nice way to document the beginning of those collections for me to see where they are in a year, two years from whenever I post that video. But yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, maybe consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. But that is all for today's video. And until the next time, I hope you guys stay happy, stay healthy, and keep collecting. Bye guys.